His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, issued Edict 4 for this year, restructuring the National Committee for Childhood. The edict appoints the Minister of Labour and Social Development as Chairman of the Committee, with the membership of 15 representatives of related authorities. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, received at Gudebiya Palace today the newly appointed Sri Lanka Ambassador to Bahrain, Asaj U. Mendes. His Royal Highness commended the growing cooperation and coordination between the two countries, pointing out the role of diplomatic missions in enhancing bilateral relations. The Crown Prince stressed friendly relations between Bahrain and Southern Asian countries were important in light of the growth in economic, commercial and cultural cooperation, which was reflected on the level of bilateral relations. He wished the new ambassador success in performing his duties in strengthening Bahraini-Sri Lankan relations and expanding fields of joint cooperation. For his part, the ambassador expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for his interest in developing relations of friendship and cooperation between the two countries. The extraordinary meeting of the GCC Information Ministers concluded today in the Saudi capital Riyadh. The final statement of the meeting asserted the deep-rooted brotherly relations linking the GCC countries and affirmed the continuous coordination and consultation between them in the different fields, mainly the media sector. The ministers stressed the importance of their meeting in the wake of recent regional developments that urge their countries to activate the role of media institutions and implement joint plans that set the media as a main support to political diplomacy. The ministers also denounced violations committed by the Houthi militias and forces loyal to them against human rights in Yemen, as well as the repeated attacks on the southern borders of the Saudi Kingdom. Speaking to a news conference, GCC Secretary General Dr. Abdul Latif Al Zayani said the meeting touched on media cooperation between GCC countries and the mechanisms of this collaboration in all fields, with a focus on the media field pertinent to Yemeni affairs. Al Zayani asserted that the GCC states have common information programs with the General Secretariat of the Council, which act as a coordination tool to highlight the outcome of joint GCC work between the media devices in GCC countries. He indicated that the meeting discussed the performance of the Ministries of Information and the work to develop the existing cooperation and unification of GCC media discourse towards various issues. For his part, Saudi Minister of Information Dr. Adil Al-Tarifi said the ministers agreed on coordinating the Gulf media discourse on Yemen and reflect the true image of the violations committed by the Houthi militias that can be described as war crimes and the disruption of humanitarian access to those affected by fighting. He stressed the importance that the media in the GCC highlights the Houthis' practices and their associates in Yemen, including the continued killings of civilians targeting of health and educational facilities, looting of relief and humanitarian materials, and procrastination in the consultation led by the UN Special Envoy to reach a political solution to end the war in the country, in accordance with Resolution 2216 and the Gulf Initiative and its executive mechanism, as well as the national dialogue outputs. The ambassador of the, for the Kingdom of Bahrain to the United Kingdom, Sheikh Fawaz bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, presented his credentials to His Majesty King Wilhelm Alexander of the Netherlands as a London-based ambassador to the Netherlands. Sheikh Fawaz bin Mohammed conveyed the greetings of Bahrain's leadership to His Majesty King Wilhelm Alexander and their wishes for the Netherlands of further progress and prosperity. He affirmed Bahrain's keenness to reinforce historic, deep-rooted relations between the two friendly countries and expand fields of joint cooperation. In response to the statement issued by the U.S. Department of State, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Bahrain 
highlighted a number of facts, the first of which being that the Kingdom accords high importance to human rights and basic freedoms in all public policies, national plans and programmes. In a statement, the Ministry confirmed Bahrain's keenness to creating the mechanisms and institutions capable of supporting, reinforcing and observing those rights, as well as activating them, since they are all about human beings and prerequisites for the building of a balanced society, where all the citizens equally enjoy basic rights. It affirmed that the unbiased, transparent judiciary of Bahrain enjoys independence and provides guarantees on par with the international human rights standards. They are considered prerequisites for the development of all fields and the establishment of equity, justice and equal opportunities, in addition to protecting the rights and achievements of citizens as stipulated by the constitution and relevant laws. It stressed that freedom of expression and opinion is one of the distinguished factors behind the boost in Bahrain and one of the pillars of His Majesty the King's reform scheme. It also noted that in the prevailing atmosphere of democratic and media openness, the constitution and local laws guarantee the free and responsible expression of one's opinion on condition that they are exercised within the boundaries of professional and moral ethics and internationally recognized media conventions. The Ministry affirmed that the Kingdom has made broad steps and fostered qualitative initiatives that, help it overcome the that helped it overcome the 2011 events that affected and repercussions attributing such achievements to the wisdom of the leadership and the strong citizen leadership solidarity in all circumstances. It also ascribed them to the decisive confrontation of he who dare impair people's unity enabling the kingdom to absolutely rid itself of the sectarian danger and keep Bahrainis united as usual, protecting the nation and its achievements and leaving no room for sectarianism or discrimination. The statement asserted that the kingdom is continuing with utmost resolve and optimum will to bring about and boost progress and development, taking pride in its distinguished and firm relations with the friendly United States and vowing to propel bilateral ties to higher levels to meet the common interest of the two friendly countries and people and to serve regional and global security and stability.